Welcome everyone, this is question 13 for now uh, on the integrated math 2 practice test for T and ready. This is a 2019 test, who knows what the number will be, but this test tends to float around tests with different numbers, so hopefully it stays 13. I don't know what it'll be in the future. The graph of the system of equations is shown, and I'm just zooming it in so you can see it. What is the x-coordinate of one of the solutions to the system of equations? And enter your answer in the space provided. Now the key issue here is the term solutions to the systems of equations. So a system of equations is when we look at two different functions, like right now we have a linear function, that's the line, and then we have a quadratic function, that's this parabola here. And um, we're going to see if there's any points that they have in common. The solution would be the points of intersection. Really what it means is they share the same point. So in one of them, here's a point here. This is the coordinate pair 0 and 1. Here is another one, the coordinate pair 2 and 5. Now the solution would mean, would indicate that when in both functions, you have a coordinate pair 0, 1, and 2, 5 that make the solution true. So if I substituted in a value of 0 into whatever the equation for this linear function is, I should get a value of 1. And considering it's right here and it's going up like this, it's probably this. I'm not going to do this for everything, but so if I put in the 0 here, that would give my y value of 1. So it is one of the coordinate pairs. Similarly, if I were working on this parabola, this quadratic, I could do exactly the same thing, except it would have an x squared in it, and I'm not going to go long on this to keep this as short as I can while still giving you explanation. Um, if I substitute in value of 0, I would get 1. So that's true for both of them. The same thing would occur for 2 and 5. It does not specify in the question at any point which x-coordinate they want me to use. So as long as it doesn't say that you have to choose one or the other, I think it does later in a different question, you can choose whatever you want. So pick either x value that you want, and remember x, y, this is the coordinate here, or just go to the x-axis and start going up and finding them. Okay, this one's at zero, so that goes up. Or maybe it's easier for you to see this one because it's definitely on the two. So you could choose as your answer, and I'm going to scroll this thing down so I can put it in the space provided. I could either do zero or two. You won't need to put both. If you just put zero there, you're good to go. If you don't want to do that and you just want to put two there, you are good to go. Either of those answers is acceptable here. You don't have to choose one over the other. It's perfectly fine. And that's it. Thanks.